this is a swiftly flowing river that the people who have lived here for tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of years, have named the Willimantic. And these are the flags of some of the people who have come here to this region to make it a better place to live. And this is our world famous drawbridge bridge leading to a street, a street named after an African American carpenter who lived there in 1840, Lyman Jackson. It's Jackson Street. That is why Eastern Connecticut State University believes in justice, equity, diversity, and inclusion. In memory of the people who have lived here before, to encourage our students to build a greater and more beautiful future. Ten years ago, the University of Mary Washington decided to honor the legacy of one of our former professors, James Farmer, the civil rights leader, who organized the Freedom Rides and was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom. UMW planned a series of events and programs for the 50th anniversary of the Freedom Rides, such as displaying a vintage bus on campus, premiering the Freedom Rides documentary, and bringing in civil rights experts and actual Freedom Riders to campus. We also created a first-year seminar that I teach, titled Race and Revolution, Using Dr. Farmer's Life as a Framework for the Course. One action that public liberal arts colleges could do to enhance advance racial justice is to investigate and celebrate the social justice history of the schools in the community. Or perhaps the schools could take ownership of past wrongs and publicly pledge to do better. At UMW, our Campus Environment Committee prepared an excellent report about buildings with problematic names or murals. As a result, I now teach in James Farmer Hall, rather than Trinkle Hall, which had been named for a Virginia governor who had signed a eugenics law. I'm happy to have worked at UMW long enough to see these positive changes, and I am hopeful for the future. Best wishes in your own quest for social and racial justice. So one action that public liberal arts colleges can do to advance racial justice is to provide an inclusive learning experience and curriculum. We must evaluate and reconsider the curriculum and co-curriculum carefully and deeply. What and who and how we teach, regardless of discipline, must be addressed through a racial justice lens. Context matters. We should directly address our perpetuation of white supremacy in and outside the classroom. We join hands, hearts, ideas, challenges, and hopes. We're not alone here, but what if we're just doing our own thing as a community of liberal arts professors? So as we listen only, how can we lead with one another? If we believe a liberal arts education provides space for creative problem solving, why wouldn't we lead collectively together? Why wouldn't we take the banner of racial and social justice to our institution? We have the opportunity to collaborate, shouldn't we?